All right, everybody, we're back. It's 3 p.m. on day three. It's a bit cold today. We had some rain, but we are walking in right now to Sweet Tooth, and we have a stack day today. We're gonna be at the main stage most of the day. We're making our way in right now, as you can see. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys inside for Sweet Tooth.
Bach who could not make it. So we're gonna catch the last 25 minutes or so, and then we're gonna be back for Eptic. And then we are gonna go back to the cabin actually and regroup, grab some shit, and then come back in for Void and whatever is happening after that. So we'll see you guys in the cave. Hello, festival guards of the internet. Before I continue any further this video, I want to take a second to talk about the sponsor of this video, The Refs Crew. The Refs Crew is a group of friends located in Dallas, Texas, who joined forces to create a harm reduction and safety squad dedicated to keeping people in the crowd safe, especially in places it's hard for festival officials to get to, like deep in the crowd and in the mosh pit. The goal of The Refs Crew is to keep everyone around them safe and be a resource to the crowd, whether you got a bloody nose from the mosh pit, need some water, or just someone around that's being a little bit too touchy. If you are close enough to spot a referee uniform in the crowd, then you are close enough to get the help and assistance that you need. Not only do a a handful of them carry first aid kits, but many of them are CPR and AED certified, and they all carry and are trained in Narcan administration. Since the ref and the crew are notoriously in some of the most rowdy and sometimes most dangerous parts of the crowd, they are known to capture very unique and epic content that has actually been requested by artists and management to be used on social media. This has inspired them to organically incorporate an additional social media presence by having several different people in the crowd record the same moment from a particularly difficult part of the crowd to capture, and then sharing that same moment on social media at the same time. The refs crew just had their first official trial run this year at Summoning of the Eclipse, where 10 of their members were acting as officials and making sure the pits were clean, patrons were respectful, and everybody was safe. Now I must say I personally can't put the ref and the crew this year at losses and getting to meet and know all of them I got to see and understand that this is an awesome group of individuals who are selfless, wholehearted, have a very big passion for the scene and want to leave it better than the way they found it and you know just honestly they're always looking out and are always willing to put themselves before others and I think that is so cool and really what this scene needs more of. So the next time you're at a festival and see a referee uniform don't be afraid to ask for some water or ask for some set times or ask where the closest medical tent is. They are here to help and will go out of their way to do so for you. So if you or anyone you know would be interested in working with the Rave Ref and the Ref's crew as an additional security measure for your event or festival and an additional social media presence and service, you can contact them via email at theraverep at gmail.com and you can contact its founder and co-founder at the Rave Ref and at its King Luna on Instagram. Thank you again to the Rave Ref and the Ref's crew for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the content. It's 1040. We're back at the cabin and we're making our way. Oh my god, it's bright. Back to the festival, which is basically right where those lights are. So we had to come back and get our nighttime stuff and just regroup and re-energize and get some food and recharge and do all that stuff. Whoa. So we're making our way back. We missed Apache or we'll be walking into the end of that and we're gonna be in here for void and then we have after party shenanigans and it's our last night. So we're gonna see where the night takes us. So we'll see you guys back inside in a little bit. 11 o'clock, boys. Ha <laughs> ha 